In this problem, x varies as a binomial distribution. Uh, there's 25 trials, and the probability of success of one trial is 0.25. The question is asking us, first of all, to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. That's a nice straightforward question. We can go straight to the table and find that answer. So we're looking for 25 trials and a probability of 0 0.25. There we go. And it's 25. Probability of 0 0.25 puts us in this middle column here. And we want x less than or equal to 6. So it's just a case of finding that number in the table. 0 0.5611. We go 0.5611. There it is. Okay. If you want to find the probability that x equals 6, then there's a nice little trick for this. We just need to rephrase the question slightly. We can think of it like this. We can think that that's the same thing as finding the probability of x less than or equal to 6, and then subtracting the probability of the values for x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so x less than or equal to 5. That will just leave us with one value, the value of x equals 6. Then you get these from the table, and rather than flicking the table, I'll just tell you what they are. So that's 0 0.5611, we know that from over here. Put some equal signs in to make this make sense. And this one, if you looked it up on the table, would be 0 0.3783. So pressing a few buttons, buttons on your calculator should give you 0 0.1828. Okay, and you've got to think, is that quicker? To do that from the tables than it is to try and figure out the sixth term in the binomial expansion. For part C, we're trying to find x greater than 13. So really that's the results for 14, 15, 16, 17, on to 25. And we can use a trick from the last example. So we can rephrase that as the probability of, sorry, I'll go back a step. It's 1 minus, isn't it? 1 minus the probability, probability of x being less than or equal to 13. Okay, and this is a result that we can get straight from the table. It's 0 0.9991. So that gives us an answer of 0 0.0009. Okay, so for part D, um, we're finding the probability that x is greater than 6 but less than or equal to 10. So it might help us to figure out what values that actually represents. And that would be the values um, x equals greater than 6. So that would be 7, 8, 9, and equal to 10. So we can include 10 in that list there. I'm going to think about how we can get that. The first way of doing that is to find the probability up to 10 and then subtract the probability of x less than or equal to 6. So let's rephrase it like this. Probability of x less than or equal to 10 minus probability that x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, if we work that out, it'll be the tables 0.9 Seven zero three minus zero point five six one one. 
on your calculator, that's going to come to 0 0.4092. So sometimes you've got to think very carefully about the values that the question's asking for. The distribution table is always always phrased like this, S x less than or equal to a number. There's a little trick there if you want to find a single value. So if, for example to find the single value x equals 6, work out the probability x is less than or equal to 6 and subtract the probability of x less than or equal to 5. For greater than problems you can do 1 minus, because you know that all the probabilities are going to add up to 1 in total. And for more difficult questions, sometimes it helps to actually write down the values of x that you're trying to solve the problem for. And then hopefully you can rephrase that in terms of less than or equal to questions.